think we got it going. You got it? Stickity dog. You got it, Honcho? Do a quick little... Uh. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Oh. Uh. Alright, you know, I'm just starting. Are we leaving? Alright, well... Welcome back. Welcome back, uh, homie fellows. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 Welcome back to the beautiful boy cast. I gotta take this hat. I but oh oh oh, oh he blew the light. Oh, he blew the light. Holy fuck! For those at home, he just blew his vape at our light thing, and it it looked really really cool. You have to be here. You would understand the yeah, excitement if you were here. You would get it. Vape cloud plus laser equal. Mm-hmm. It's a good time. Uh, it's equal good time. Puzzles. Yeah, I gotta take this hat off though. I, I'd buckle it up for autistic moments, but like, it generally makes you feel like you're retarded in there because there's you it's can't tight. hear much and yeah. it's tight around the head. And, you know. Mm. Anyways, nice. welcome back to the BBC, ladies and gentlemen. Episode. Okay, my hair looks a little like di- dikey right now. Dikey. Well, I do have a mullet. Nah, like just like the <laughs> you got like that sunny because my mom like chopped Sunny's hair like that wet hair look. Speaking that of sunny. wet dyke hair. Speaking of it's sunny. the hat. It pressed it down. Yeah. Speaking yeah. of Sunny, I have a theory that Sunny, before you got him, was a Wu Tang affiliate. I was listening to a Wu Tang the other night. I don't know which song it was, cause I, I, well, I, I do, but I asked, I asked the uh, my my Alexa, like I asked my, I, I named, I named it Ziggy. So I was like, Yo, Ziggy, what song is this? Cause I was trying to figure out, cause they, they're like, I was chilling with Sunny Liston, and I was like, Oh shit. Sunny Liston. Sonny Liston. I know Sonny Liston. Yeah. But, uh, fucking, I, like, asked my Ziggy, and it was, like, this is, like, whatever the name of the song was, and I, like, I got it, but then I got, I, I lost it, because after that, he was, like, by RZA the Jizza, like, because it was one of those songs where it wasn't exactly Wu-Tang Clan, it was all of them. Yeah. So he just naming, my, my, my Lex is just naming all of the, the members of Wu-Tang Clan, and I'm, like, bro, I just wanted the name of the song. Yeah. But yeah, I think Sonny was in Wu Tang. What are you doing? Why is the bar so big? Because I couldn't see if, if so I didn't thick. know if we, if it was picking up or so not. Zoomed on it. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh-huh. Did you guys see Sonny's haircut when he walked in? She was under he was under the table. Oh uh, yeah, my mom had to cut his hair the other night. Too poofy? No, he ran in a bunch of shit. Yeah, so, oh. so she gave she, she and her clippers came in because she thought she was gonna be a professional dog groomer, but she ends up sucking. Some guy up. just commented on one of our, our last posts, just some like long ass like sentence in Spanish. Really? Let's He's translate. like my homie fellas. Copy and paste it in Google Translate. <laughs> yeah. Copy and paste. Wait, wait, wait. Let me put up Google Translate right now, and you pull out your phone, and I'll take the picture. Yeah, it's I want to know what they. I want to know what type of shit this guy's saying and how he's even been listening to the podcast. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What's his opinion? What's the situation? You know. Because like I get how they listen to like American music. Oh, you're going down a little bit. I think I'm going down. You're making a me bit. feel a little normal, huh? I think I'm going down a little bit. See, now we're all on around the same level. I like this. For those Very who don't know, Jimmy finally, Jimmy finally upgraded. From the lawn chair, lawn chair to real chair. It's got rolly wheels, up and down. So air much suspension. of me like really. I retired hopes. the lawn chair right before you came here. So much of me like really hopes you like. I can't pull out your somehow. phone. Let me see. That'd be crazy. Like you just shit in the chair <laughs> and you have to go back to the lawn chair. All right, let's read what this says. Very unfortunate. If you shit in the chair, do you think that you'd get rid of it or just clean it? I'd clean it. Come on now. <laughs> I fucking. And you're just clean shitting it. in it. Oh, in a shit chair. You disinfect it. I gotta do Spanish mm. to English. Ain't my first True. shit rodeo, pal. Won't be my last. I guess so. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Yeah. You know? I guess when you're playing with poop all day at your job. Some the, sometimes. it's It starts to not even... Honestly, I play with poop every two months. Yeah? If I Like, not that often. Because B told us when we were in shop, our shop teacher told us that he never got shit on him once. Because... In a proper drain, he's the DWV man. drain waste fence system. Because he's the man. The shit's gonna flow, you know. Like it. Yep, shit it does flow. Shit flows downhill, and when you plumb a Intravado thing. Intravado de lo for it's not really doing it, but write my just main. Just copy profile. and paste it on Google on like your browser. <laughs> That's gonna be way. Oh, I was a Spanish easy. person. I know. I don't know. I don't care what he said. <laughs> the only time I deal with shit is on like a main block. Do you think if you were like working in my house and you like, 
blew a pipe or something and you got like my whole family shit all over you like things would be different between <laughs> us <laughs> yeah a little bit <laughs> a little bit i won't lie yeah probably don't you use baby wipes no nah, that's him oh okay Okay. Yeah, I got my own shit to do. I'm a poor. You like that? You're, like, you're, you're like the dumb bitch that fuck. puts tampons down her fucking toilet. Who? You're like a dumb bitch that puts tampons. Oh down yeah, her that's no good. Idea. Hey, thing hey, Cam. The people. Guess what? Do. I might have a dirty asshole, but at least it's cleaner than yours. Oh, okay. Facts. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Big talk. Yeah. Big talk, man. I think we already we already knew this. Mm. I you know I'm not ashamed of my dirty asshole. <laughs> Like you. I'm not ashamed. I see Hating you sending pictures person. throughout the week, like, like, damn, it's getting bad. And you just Wasn't got, like, a that? teeny skin mark, bro. <laughs> Come on now. He's in the trenches. I'm in the trenches out here, bro. <laughs> what you, what you, <laughs> fucking life. When your fucking, your fucking underwear turns into, f- like, fishnet, bro, you let me know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't got the same type of underwear you wear though. I use fucking like that performance underwear performance. so my assholes work. Listen, bro, I don't like the way that performance underwear. Dude, if I wore your my underwear, cam, if I stitches. wore your type of underwear cam, I should probably be destroyed. Bro, I don't like the way it grabs onto my balls with its stitches. <laughs> it doesn't grab onto your balls. You obviously don't have big enough balls, Mr. Steroids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever worn that style. It sucks, dude. I don't like when shit grabs my nuts. I wear, like, briefs or loose boxes. Nothing in between. <laughs> You're probably not fertile. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I think it's from other reasons, though. <laughs> not just the underwear I'm wearing. Why? I think it's probably from the pro-hormones I took. Oh, uh, okay. Real talk? I didn't know if you were, like, nah. ballless. <laughs> I, could probably, I could probably still... Yeah, have a kid, sure. it'd probably just be a little retarded and a little ripped. Uh, be like Hercules kid with Down syndrome. <laughs> that'd be sick. I should start that would be fertilizing sick. myself. Like three years old. Yeah, dude, put him on cycle at six. Yeah. Throw Anavar in a smoothie. That's what B Fit does. Get him on Instagram. That's what B Fit does. They throw Anavar in their smoothies. You want the yeah. work, dude. Dude, for real. Yeah. Just have him like. Look at them, dude. He's fucking more. shredded. He's the most shredded kid, dude. Have mm-hmm. you ever seen him, Jimmy? You talking about that Hercules rip, kid? The ripped player kid. Maybe. Oh my Hold god, on. dude. I've seen like very ripped kids before. I don't know. Dude, this is fucking shredded. Oh, yes. This is him yes, now. I this have. is him now, though. He looks like How he would like he? like twenty something. He looks All like right. he looks like he would fuck Wasn't Hercules he born kids with, like, now. Like a genetic condition that like allowed him to grow more muscle mass. Uh, no, his dad put Anavar in his smoothies. That's sick. Yeah, yeah they that's said just that. a lie that his dad told the public. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I like, mean, look at him. Yeah, no shit. This kid's fucking shit. This guy was just like, <laughs> I mean, look shit. at me, bro. Like, Wait, uh, of they, course my kids. This kid's got fuck. This kid's just. <laughs> They're both on it. Imagine one. you're in the gym, you just see this. Oh my god. You're like, what the fuck? He's. I'd leave. Kid's got bigger legs than me. <sighs> what is he like? Ten in that? That's like the no, he's like six. Holy fuck. <laughs> That's like yeah. the equivalent of like six. being at the skate park and you see like a twelve year old just like shredding and you're like i'm quitting yeah I'm literally i see this on instagram he's giving me feeds of, like people like Hold on, what is, wait guitar. wait but this was no, a like, while ago what does hercules kid look like now they just this. a picture he looks normal he looks i mean he looks he looks like he would touch he's in shape kid. wait that's him now yeah oh fuck see a little less anapa he's way less ripped than he was when he was yeah, a he kid hates working it out. i bet he does i would <laughs> fuck you dad I'll work out when I, when I... I mean, it's cool, though, because like, he doesn't have to work out because he he'll always have that, like, athletic build because he was on steroids yeah. when he was a kid. Yeah. Oh, it's just gonna... It's normal. It's gonna be... Ripped. Yeah. Nah, I think his shit's all I wish up. my dad put he's probably on, on like my He's probably on, like, TRT or some shit. Yeah. Fucking... That's small you think them balls are. Dude, he didn't get, he didn't get nuts. They never grew. <laughs> yeah. They didn't he's have got a vagina, dude. dude. Little oh, baby ball shrinking. I don't know how it goes though. I feel like if you stop taking it, your body eventually produces testosterone again. But I don't know. Depends how much you use. True. In the time being. I mean, your body can naturally regenerate it, but if you're like six years old taking shit, blasting. Like, yeah, <laughs> blasting. Blasting. Blasting off. Doctor JJ, been you've been seeing Doctor JJ. Doctor JJ's on the playground. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally. Training kids business. on the monkey bars. <laughs> doing business. You see 
JJ like at the playground and there's like he's like in the corner under the slide like with like his what hoodie up and, and shades on and there's Change. like a line of kids and there's just a bunch of kids doing weighted pull-ups on the monkey bars chains <laughs> just chains around them they, they have what you know those? it was like it's like summertime they walk back into class the teacher's like why are you, wearing Bro, you, jeans? Know those, why are you guys wearing jeans you know, <laughs> where'd you get those boots you know those um those fucking uh things that like go back and forth it's like a dinosaur yeah that. they got yeah. one kid on that and there's another kid with like a chain attack like around his fucking waist just, just <laughs> running full speed just pulling it yeah. ripping it out of the ground just shirtless with fucking jeans on it's like the you know like jeans the pen just with that weird you know like, like the seesaw kid body <laughs> you know like the seesaw that's like that but their legs are so jacked <laughs> they're just pressing it's back. Like, yeah it's like throwing them up yeah, they're just going fucking like up and down. <laughs> Get uh, kids. Right. A couple of them are in like you know how like some parks like World War One has the jail thing. Yeah. yeah, it's like that. They're like, yeah, we're in the sun. <laughs> oh, no. We're in the sauna right now. <laughs> they just got some kid burning like <laughs> wet, si- wet, like fucking like cigarettes and butts and fucking leaves <laughs> on the ground. And they're like, we're in the sauna, bro. <laughs> it's delightful. <laughs> Come back in all sweaty. What were you guys doing? It wasn't even that hot. I <laughs> They're mixing up a uh, fucking um, uh, what's it called? Uh, the shit that you dip the stick in. You know that. <laughs> oh, fun dip, pixie you dip. Mixing up fun dip. Yeah, and fun their dip. water and like drinking that pre. <laughs> hey yo, you, I got that that C four. I got C four. Ever sniff fun fish. dip like a retard pack? In the yeah. Uh, Hell yeah. Did you guys ever <laughs> smoke uh, Smarties? Yeah. I never smoked. No. Uh, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, like smoke over. came out of it. <sighs> yeah, sick. Dude, remember, like, do you guys ever get like the candy cigarettes that were like the I ones have, that looked like the ones like the bubble gums that look like yeah. real cigarettes, and it's like the first like suck you do it like a little puff of like no, smoke. No, I comes always out. just got the the. Dude, yeah, I used to go sticks. get. They used to sell them at Providence Place, and I used to get them when I was a little kid, and I'd go through like three packs in like ten three packs minutes a day. I'd right. go through yeah, literally. I'd go Not through, like, even eating them, just like puffing one, throwing it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what I was doing. Dude. <laughs> I would just like sit out with a cigarette. I'm just fucking thinking. obsessed with it, bro. Like I'm, I'm hooked. Bro, maybe that's Ain't no one, one gonna stop. Dude, me I don't, I don't ever see kids nowadays with shit like that. Yeah. Well, I never see kids anywhere. smoking. Yeah, no, candy now it's the little white sticks. All I see, all I see now is kids on the but playground ripping like jewels. <laughs> <laughs> no, I see is kids ripping fucking Esco bars. Was, yeah, what happened to the candy cigs? What happened to the candy cigs? You take a little, fucking chuck it to the side. You're too cool, bro. Maybe wait, break it in half. Wait, like Just 30 seconds? It. Shit, I'm kind of feeding and need another you go one. To, you pull another one out, you say, man, shit, you know what? I'm quitting this. And you fucking snap it. You fucking snap ditch the snap it, you eat it. You're off the candy six. Yeah. Cold turkey. You're on you're on the you're on the fucking big weed chew. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, big weed chew. It's literally supposed to be. Yeah, they literally just start dip. It literally represents tobacco companies. You should just make candy for kids, bro. Yeah. Like just like ease them into smoking. Why don't they have like a candy jewel now? It's like yeah, they should. It's like it's like a e Pez dispenser. It's like yeah. it's a jewel pod, but it's a it's a Pez. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'd be pretty sweet. That'd be tight. It tastes like mango. Yeah, we're trademarking that. Menthol. We trademarked that. We <laughs> own that. Don't fucking try to do that, jewel. It'd be funny if they, like, did, like, a deep, like, investigation on Big Week Chew and they found out there was nicotine in the gum. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, little slights on yeah, out. Fucked young. Yeah, I get them on that shit. They don't even know they're addicted. They just want it. Yeah. I mean, exactly. Hell yeah. See, I always thought it was just, like, a baseball gum. I never thought of it as, like, chewing tobacco. Yeah, I mean, yeah. People used to dip. <laughs> Big weed chew. See, because whenever I saw dip when I was a kid, I never saw like chew. Chews I saw like dip because my uncle used to dip like out of. Oh, he used to Remember dip they, ch- uh, skull cherry. Yeah, dude. you go straight from the Big Weed Ugh. chew to the the Jack Link's jerky dip. <laughs> yeah, the can. Yeah, the can. Did you guys get the can? Dip. Yeah, it tastes like shit. Yeah, it does. Yeah. <laughs> you just got it so you can pack it and fucking yeah. feel like the shit. And then Freaking I was like. Yeah, and then I just moved up to real dip anyway. Yeah, for real. I said fuck this shit. I, I used enjoyed. to love. I think dipping. I literally bought a can of real dip. Like dipping. I've never enjoyed dip. I it's, think my, I after couldn't my, do it now. I feel like I throw up. But I used. I to can do love chew. Dip. No, I, I can't do dip. Dip's disgusting, but I can do chew. I because chew is like always hated chew. Nah, I feel like chew is more sweet. It's like I don't like. It's, it's, I don't it's like more likely to go back into your throat and throw up though. Nah, even if it's not. You know what's funny though? It's not dip's more. 
I never dipped without braces, so it was always super easy for me to keep it in. <laughs> like, I just stick it in our braces. Yeah. See, yeah, I stopped dipping because I got braces. Did you, ever, did you I get just, a pocket? Yeah, I just sit there and... Yeah, that's why I stopped, because I started getting, like, fucking, like, a divot in my mouth. Uh-huh. And then I was, like, dude... Like, and also, I got sick when I... Like, at one point... Like, I got, like, strep throat, and I thought I had, like, a lump in my throat, and I was like, dude, I'm not being one of those mouth cancer guys. <laughs> <laughs> that shit's serious. Yeah, dude, they get fucked up. <laughs> for real, for real. I remember there was, like, this dip YouTube channel, and, like, me and Zach. Oh, um, uh, 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 Outlaw? Not him, no, it was, like, <laughs> no, no, I know him, but no, 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 I remember, it was, like, some super small, like, like, kid, like, some, like, kid, like, about I know, I remember this kid, this kid was real Dipper 14 or some shit, real <laughs> yeah. Dipper and, was like, 14 years old, <laughs> yeah, and, me and, Zach, and, like, two years ago, when he grew up, I think I might have the messages somewhere, he was, like, posting shit about shit, and me and Zach were just, like, roasting him, and he actually, like, texted us back, and we were, like, calling him, like, a retard, Let's get him on the pod. Dip. Was he a southern boy? We'll get a, we'll get a fucking spitter Real from dipper. him. We'll get a BBC personal. We'll start selling Real spitters. Dipper 24. Nah, no, that's what it is. Yeah, dude. Let's start selling fucking roadies and spitters. <laughs> <laughs> Just milk jugs. Let Here we know. have the BBC 12 gauge <laughs> bullet holder spitter. <laughs> Real man. Yeah, that's all. We'll sell. Kids off the the that's face it. of the earth. <laughs> Real <laughs> Dipper twenty four <laughs> dropped off the play, face of the earth. Oh no! <laughs> I'll show you him real quick. You look, yeah, you look, let's, you look back and it's up. just Kyle Rittenhouse. <laughs> it's basically, dude, really, really. Real Dipper. <laughs> Real Dipper fourteen. Yeah. Twenty four. Back at it. Here I am packing a little Copenhagen. Right here. Right here. <laughs> Real Dipper 24. Yes. Dude, yes. Yes, bro. Yes. He looks like Adam Woodward. Yes. Woodland. Yeah, he does probably, look like Adam Woodward. Adam Woodward. <laughs> That's Adam Woodward's side account from uh, <laughs> Dank Weed Memes. Dank Weed Memes. <laughs> Hercules Kid and Real. <laughs> Dude, I'll never get over that, bro. Dank Weed Memes. Like, he didn't smoke weed. He pretended. Dude, I he know. He pretended to I smoke know. weed. That shit's crazy. His mom yeah, freaked out because I sent him a picture of my bong in a group chat and threatened to beat the shit out of me. And then my dad called her and called her dumb fucking cunt. Yeah, no. Dude, Attaboy, Dude, that, Ricky. that kid ruined the movie Sausage Party for me. He used to just watch it all the time and shop on his phone. I know. And Some weird he'd idea. always annoy the piss out of Whoa. me because I have a... Oh, yeah, you put the coffee in front of it. Made that light thing. <laughs> but he'd always fucking annoy me in class because he wanted me to do the douche impression because I'm really good at doing the fucking douche. <laughs> but, yeah, that kid sucked, dude. I reamed his hand. Yeah. I remember one time we were tripping on ass and we sold uh, him and John, uh, what's his name? Boteri? Yeah. We sold him and John Boteri weed. And we could have sworn they called us homie 75 times. Oh, I was in the house. You were in the house yeah. for that, but me and Because I was like, I don't want to fucking see these just like, like, rolling. Just fucking yeah. eyes wide. Just, <laughs> just selling a 10 bag. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, man. Here you go, man. Hey, bro. Like, oh, what's up, homies? How y'all homies hey, doing homie, tonight? Fe- hey, homie. Hey, homie. we're just like, what's up? Homie, <laughs> <laughs> Cam, they were like, "What's up, homie fella?" Yeah, was like, "What's up, fella? Uh, hey, homie fella?" Hey, homie fella. <laughs> but yeah, That's dude, intense. we came back inside. We're like, we were like, "How'd it go?" And we're like, "Call us home." Yeah, I was like, "What?" <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you wow. talking about? It was like, they just wouldn't stop saying homie. <laughs> I was like, "All right." We hit him up the next day, and he said that he doesn't remember saying homie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, buddy. He said we were actually kind of acting Homie weird. Fe- <laughs> homie well, fellas. You know. <laughs> homie fellas. It was your fucking dogs losing their mind about up there, you think? So I think someone walked through know. the door. What do you think they're so pissed about? They're always fucking... I don't know. Where do you go? Do you think if you could, like, hear what they were actually saying, they'd be excited or mad? Because I think they'd either... Like, it's either they're doing, like, Fuck you! Get the fuck out of my house! Fuck you! Nah, I think it's more of like, excitement. Oh my god! You fucking home! 
Ah! I think it's more ah! exciting because they'll like be jumpy and shit. Yeah. yeah, but they'll also be biting at you. <laughs> Surprise. Yeah, but they're fucking retarded, so that's like I think they're your like fucking dogs have mental issues. Bro. Yeah, I think they do too. They all feed off each other. I know. I, I think it's Sunny, dude, because when we first got him, we used to like flip, throw him up in the air and flip him. <laughs> so I think... used to throw him up in the air and flip him. <laughs> yeah, so I think that's you're, what I mean. you're curious as to why he's such an asshole. <laughs> no, to why he's so retarded. <laughs> <laughs> that's you fun. Pick, that's how fun. high? <laughs> nah, just like a little bit, like crazy. Right, just like up that's fun. Like, it's like uh, it's like when uh, he was like, you see those pictures of people with he's their shaking. newborn babies. Just yeah, no, he probably. I think yeah. I gave him like shaken baby syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think a baby's ever died from that? Totally. Definitely. Slip, you drop him. Yeah. Now he's retarded. You chuck him on fucking. Dude, way she up never. Let how do you think they go? figured never. that shit out? <laughs> she would never. The baby's crying. Shut the fuck up. Oh shit! It worked. <laughs> oh, it worked. okay. Word. All right, just tosses it. Good night. Put him to bed. I wish people. It was like the twenties. So yeah, like, we'll make I, another I one, know, baby. I don't wish people were like this, but I think it'd be kind of interesting if people were like raccoons, and the guy was just like wearing around the wife when she's like when the the pregnant bitch when she's about to have the baby so you can snap the baby's neck real quick and get another <laughs> get fucking. Get some pussy. <laughs> yeah. She's about to be. Because they just they just kill. Them. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like they, they, they have to, the mo- like the mother of the raccoon children has to hide because they want some the, pussy. The man when she she gives birth. What about the raccoon that JJ always chills with? Oh yeah, he chills with raccoons. Well, he doesn't. I think that, yeah, you that's say? his pet uh, raccoon, right? He has a no. pet raccoon. Wait, no, he just chills with that raccoon. Yeah, that's sick. Wait, does it just come in from outside? Actually, I don't house? know. You want me to show? You? Can I see it, please? Can call you call him? him and get the scoop on this? Yeah, yeah let me show Jimmy real quick though. I, made, yeah, I, made I assumed he had a pet it. raccoon. No. That's tight. That is very tight. They're really smart. I always wanted a pet raccoon, but I just think it'd be hard. Yeah. I always wanted a pet, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, those monkeys that are really, a lemur. Yeah. Dude. Like Zaboomafu. You could, like, climb up your leg, huh? Did you guys watch Zaboomafu? Yes, yeah, sir. Dude, that, I, do you remember him when he died? Like, Maybe like four years yeah, ago. Yeah, I remember being distraught. Just on his, that's a fat, that's a big boy. Yeah, I know. And I then, know. wait, wait did you see this? Yes, this is me, my man. <laughs> JJ at the bus stop <laughs> with the raccoon on his Should back. Should I call him and ask him how he gets his raccoon? That is yeah. bus stop, buddy? I think <laughs> that's his, I thought it was his pet. I was like, oh, it's his backpack. <laughs> that's fucking awesome. I wish. I hope it's not at work. I wish I had a pet rack. He's probably not. He works at night at six streams. Now he got a new job too uh, in the daytime, I think. I can see JJ being like a call guy. Oh, he could sell. Like a, like a escort. Yeah. Yeah. I'm okay. surprised he doesn't work at the strip club with Mateo. Oh, I have a question. Yeah, JJ, you're on What's the pod. Up, How do you get that raccoon? Like, whose raccoon is it? Who told you about that and where did you hear it from? We, we see it all the time. You story post you showed from us you. <laughs> That's look, fucking cool. You man. post about the raccoon all the look, time. I look, assumed it was look, your pet. Look, God damn it. What? Nobody can know we have that. That is a secret. <laughs> it, it's a talking raccoon from the government. Yeah, That's Biden wild. Gave it to me. Uh, oh, Biden gave it to you? Swear to God. Is that your pet though? Am I right? <laughs> it's not I'm more its pet. <laughs> exactly, dude. I was right. Whose is it, though? Is it nature's? It's nature's. Does it come from outside? Just is it different raccoons <laughs> each time? Because this isn't. A, I know it's not. A, That's it's a not, big. It's not, it just wasn't a one-time a thing. This is like a month. <laughs> yeah, no shit. This is like a monthly thing you do. I used I to chill a, with Mr. Got, bananas, bananas all the time. Mr. Bananas. Right now. Oh, oh, yeah. but, uh, I got that thing from like two years ago, like two days ago. I was gonna send it to you. It was us stripping so. in the car with. Yo, you Mr. hearing bananas. this? That's such a hey, cool random encounter. Two hundred dollars and we can get an alligator. Really? That's not. That's yeah. a good deal. Damn, there's an alligator in the house. <laughs> 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 yeah, we can do that. Yeah, we could do that to your mom, dude. And just recreate it. Dude, we could raise him during the winter and then put him in the lake in the spring. Dude, honestly, yeah, now that I think about it, Josh, your mom and your dad are kind of like Bam's parents. We could totally do that. <laughs> I can see your mom just full blown. Josh, that's a fucking alligator. You're oh, he's yes, a plumber now. You're a plumber now. Yes, sir. Hell yeah, man. 
That's a good. That's, oh, a, that's yeah. a noble career. What company? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What oh, company? yeah? You think you're oh, a plumber? What company? How do you find Demons. a forty-five degree angle? What? Huh? Emons. <laughs> Emons. How do you yeah. feel about Emons, Jimmy? Well, point four one four, Jimmy. Maybe. How do you feel about Emons? Never heard of him. He said, "Fuck them. They suck dick," and he hopes their company dies. Yeah, that's exactly. He what said, I said, "Join Nicholson's crew today." Yes, sir. Are you Maybe licensed? Yet? Have you put in for your apprentice card? Are you licensed? No, I won't be licensed till another eighty days. Or uh, actually, no, I do. Put in for your paperwork as soon as humanly possible, man. Get that shit rolling. That's what I'm saying. I, days. I gotta talk to them, but they. Really I go to school in Framingham school. at Keefe Tech High School. It's like four hundred. At Keefe, to do you go to school with Chief Keefe? <laughs> you go to Chief Keefe at school. Keefe Tech in Framingham. What? It's like four hundred sixty. What is he bucks. saying? I can't hear him. He's saying. Get Go to school at Keefe Tech in Framingham. It's pretty cheap. 460 bucks. This place has... If you don't remember, this will be on the pod later. Demons has a uh, fucking school at their thing. And they pay for school. So even if I wanted to go like, try to keep or wherever... It, this pay is for it, it, people. Yeah. It's official. The pod has gotten fucking boring. Yes, it has gotten so fucking boring. <laughs> All right, so how do you get these raccoons, though? That's some shit we need to hear. <laughs> like, how how would we be able to go obtain a raccoon? a raccoon? I want a raccoon. How do I get one? Yeah. What you gotta do is you gotta get a barrel, right? Okay. Uh-huh. You gotta get, like, an outdoor barrel. Yeah, uh-huh. like a brute barrel. You gotta put, like, a two-by-four walking up that motherfucker. Uh-huh. So you gotta put a rock at the bottom of that. Barrel. <laughs> uh-huh. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh-huh. Put food walking into that barrel. Uh huh. Yes, sir. He'll walk right into there, and he won't be able to get out. Uh huh. That is yours. Another raccoon. But how do I make it trust me to climb on my back? Trap, yeah, but how how do you get it to climb on your back? Oh well. Dude, I'm telling you, that's from Biden, bro. Wow. <laughs> Very complicated. Is it your friend that has a pet raccoon? Is that the real story? No, it's He's Biden. He's friends with Joe Biden, dude. Yeah. What are you talking dude, about? Dude, we don't have a raccoon. It doesn't exist. Yeah, it doesn't exist. It's all CGI. Yeah, Sure. Yeah. <laughs> we have photo evidence <laughs> that you have a raccoon. Yeah. Dog, dude. We have I'm a picture of you wearing your raccoon as a backpack. Yeah. <laughs> All CGI. <laughs> We've been see- deep wow. diving. It is, in fact, not CGI. Wow. Dude. I downloaded the blueprints of the photo and found out it is, in fact, not CGI. <laughs> that is a real fact. Jeez, well, we had to do that. Because I'm movie. with Trump. Oh. Yeah, Trump 2024. Yeah. Because I'm with Kanye. Yeezy 2024. We're out yeah. here plotting Kanye how to kill Pete Davidson. <laughs> He's gotten too... All right, JJ. Well, I'll talk to you after. I'm going to be on the podcast next week, guys. Check oh, yeah? Out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. See ya. All right. I'll be back then next week. Get a mic ready for me. All right. We okay. got it. It's already plugged in. Dude, you better start writing shit down then. Yeah. You got to have jokes. Because I don't I feel got, like working oh, dude, next you week. Really, you're going to have to oh, fill I got a story right now I can tell. Well, you got a story right now. All right. Should we let him tell his story? No, right save now? it. Nope. All right, save your story. No, bye, white girl. Bye, white girl. Bye, bye, white, bye, bye. white girl. <laughs> bye. Dude, speaking of like raccoons and pets and stuff, I was at fucking PetSmart the other day. Mm-hmm. Just looking around and such. Just looking at shit. Yeah, checking fish out and all that. And we got to like the like hamster section. And dude, I wanted this thing so bad, but like my cats would eat it in two seconds. Yeah. There's a hamster, like like a mini. A mini hamster, so it's like oh, this dude. big, dude. Oh, like yeah. it's like two inches, and like boy, like like was loving me, dude. Like I walked up to the the thing, and he's in his little hut. He fucking runs out real quick, scratches on the glass, and he runs over to his wheel and just starts running like ape shit fast. He's like, look what I can do, look what I can do. And he runs up to the glass again, starts scratching, and then just goes right back. He wants doing. you. Yeah, he I know, wants dude. You. But I have like three fucking felines that are like. Twenty times the size. Of him. I used to have a ham. 
I used to have a hamster. Yeah. yeah, but this was a mini ha- Like, it was two inches thick. Like, Mine was, it was Mr. Roly Poly, and then it was actually ended up name. being Mrs. Roly Poly. <laughs> mine was Zippy, and it, it actually turned Mrs. out Roly. being a Mrs. Like as cool. well. <laughs> yeah, mine ended up having a bunch of kids and The died. thing with, like, ha- like, hamster and guinea pig dicks is they're so small, it just looks like a pussy, so you can't really tell. Yeah, no one knows the real hamsters. No one knows the real gender of you their guinea anything. pig. Someone just tells them what they think Unless it is. Unless you have two, and they, and they fuck. Opposite. Maybe they're gay. I don't know. Yeah, I remember I was in Florida once, and my uncle was like, "Yeah, my neighbor's got gay dogs." I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was like, I didn't believe him. And then one day, one day, all I do that sometimes. One day, all I hear is just. And I, I'm, I'm walking around. I was skating outside. I'm walking back to the house. I look in where, where I hear the noise coming from, and you know, in Florida, they have like the. The houses with like the uh, like the window room that it's has like the a bay pool in room. it. It's like a bay yeah, room. Yeah, it usually yeah. has like a little sun, pool It's in like it. a sun room with a pool. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and they were in there, and they were just they were just one dog on top, just, going just at giving it. it to him. I was like, oh, those are those gay dogs. And I look at the bo- oh down and the other ones. I just figured that you know they're not gay. It's just dogs being dogs. But the other one had a boner. Yep. Yeah, had a fucking boner on the bottom. It. Yep. Yeah. Gay dogs are out there, dude. That's crazy. There's gay animals. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so I was watching Fear Factor the other day. Okay. Dude, you know what they were offering for the prize? What? And I couldn't stop geeking. It was like two grand to you. Uh, $20,000 cash. <laughs> okay. And Tony Hawk Underground Skater 2. Whoa. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. Forget the 20 grand, bro. <laughs> well, let me say this. Though. They Tony were putting... Hawk, well, they kept... Too. I just wanted to and t- like build it, it up. They kept on doing but no, they kept But no, no, they kept on putting Tony Hawk Underground 2 first to make it sound better. Well, first of all, like, yeah. Tony Hawk Underground 2 is a phenomenal game. Yeah, yeah no. I, mean, <laughs> I played that. I played that. Like, the whole time, he was like, come on, Joe Rogan's like, come on. Win don't this. you want yeah, Tony Hawk yeah, Underground 2? Yeah, he he was like, do you want to... Don't you want to win Tony Hawk Underground Skate? Too fucking twenty thousand dollars cash. <laughs> uh, that's great. That's I like the idea of like going on like the Price is Right. And I, can like, probably, I can probably. I can probably. All right, choose the item. Be you can either choose the item the the vacation the to room. the vacation to Florida, new uh, living room new set. living room set like all this shit or. Prize, prize number three behind the door. And they choose prize Limited number three, edition. and it's just Tony Hawk <laughs> Underground <laughs> Two. <laughs> Wait, is this just clips of people playing Tony Hawk Underground Two? Couldn't you collect like VHS tape? Like that? I don't know. You collected something. I know in Pro Who's Skater you collected tickets. Two. I think it was VHS. I wish they didn't remake the undergrounds like they did Pro Skater, because Pro Skater sucks. Damn, they really didn't put it. It's a it's an arcade version of Tony Hawk, kinda, where you're this just like, always moving. This is like overhead perspective skateboarding. Yeah, not oh, oh, behind, like third person perspective, yeah. but you're like, it's like arcades. So you're always moving. You just do tricks as as you go. Oh. See, there's no push button. No fap increases testosterone? Question mark. Hmm. I guess. <laughs> Let me go on r slash no fab. Oh, dude. You know what's a fucking website, too, I found? You know what's a website I found this week, too? Oh, yeah. And you, you know what? I think I'm, I'm going to show you guys right now. Yeah. You guys yeah, are going to yeah. geek. Save your seed, dude. <laughs> no fap jumpstart January need to or PMO free f- injury January. law lawyers. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> what is this like an entry claim? It's astroworldfestclaims.com. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know I found it this week, man. Uh, Jeez. Do we fill it out and say we're there? No. <laughs> <laughs> Get that claim, dude. Get that free consultation. By Pintas and Moen. Dude, speaking of like uh lo- lawyers dude i'm driving through the center of north Ambro. yeah or not the center um like where mason field is yes sir and i see a law firm office uh-huh and it is called wiener jackson and simmons guess what wiener law jackson. firm of wiener jackson i'm gonna and tell simmons. you one even better <laughs> there's one in taunton uh-huh called gay and gay <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> is that our law firm? There's thing? sexy insurance in Plainville. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, sexy like S E. Yeah. There's Keith insurance. Yeah, but fucking Wiener Jackson, dude. You know just you be mean. Jackson and Simmons. Jackson and Simmons. No. <laughs> no, I must have my first name. The pride and joy of my life. Wiener. <laughs> gay and gay. David, David Gay. David Gay. <laughs> That's tough. Is that what we should title the episode? (laughs) Gay. Law Office of Wiener Jackson and Gay. (laughs) Law Office of Wiener Johnson and Gay. (laughs) They finally all all merged up. (coughs) They found their true calling. (laughs) Law Offices of Gay and Retard. retard. Call 1 800 Gay and Retard. Gay and Fat Cock. 1 800 Gay Retard. Gay Retard. Beep. It's like 1-800-G-A-Y-R-T-R-D. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's French. What about uh, Jackie 4 Chan? <laughs> it's like Jackie Chan. Yeah, Jackie 4 yeah. Chan. <laughs> he's I was, like, I was he's like that on, one that said the other he's day. Like on every, uh, he's like on every so, like forum just like, Okay, I love you. <laughs> Pooey Anderson. You ever that, heard that song? That one was funny that you were saying the other day. Oh, yeah, you, you, oh, yeah, Louis Anderson died, and you were like, R.I.P., and I immediately was just like, Pooey. more like Pooey Anderson, because yeah. he, he shit so hard, he fucking died. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she just got drained. That's like when uh, um, Trevor Moore died, and everyone was like, it's just so sad, he drowned in cum. That's how I want it to be when I die. Like, if I die of, like, something, like, boring, just be, like, it's just so sad. He couldn't take that, like, No, didn't they say thing. he, like, tried sucking his own cock? And he oh, yeah, he tried to suck yeah, his own and fell off his balcony and smashes it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But they so were saying... I was just thinking of that, that porn star chick that actually drowned in cum, I guess. God rest... God oh, my God, dude, that, I forgot about that podcast. <laughs> God rest your soul. <laughs> That's so... How did, how did you know? and unfortunate. Oh, it's great. Uh, what song have I been making into that whole situation? It's a Kanye song. Ah, <laughs> oh, <Yee>. fuck. <laughs> Yee. Oh, you guys just talk for a while. You're trying to fucking... Uh, so, be over here listening to Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Getting informed. Drowning in cum. Getting informed. L- listening for the internet. Why are you babysitting on the two or three yeah, shots? Cool. Alright, I got one. So I was like at work the other day. Okay. I was like... Cleaning toilets, dude. You know. And then, like, it's like purple, like, fog came in. Purple fog. Mm hmm. And I was like, there's like just random shit on the ground. I kept finding, like, I don't know, like, just like wood and like brick and like metal. Just random objects? Yeah, I found this thing called like a chug jug. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Real shit. Really? <laughs> yeah. I was like, dude, on the way here, we actually saw the battle bus. <laughs> Yeah, it was yeah, yeah, there was this blue <laughs> was school over. bus in someone's and like driveway. Was the storm moving in? Yeah, I was like, uh, that's what I thought. Of. I think that's what it was. Yeah, I was in I the, city. the city. I was in the city. Tilted Towers was back. I to, I to, that's uh, wild, man. It's back, dude. I know, dude. You guys want to go to Tilted Towers after this? I think so. I think I want to drop there. Hell yeah. I'm willing to risk it. Hell yeah, I'll risk it all, dude. Dude, you know what's awesome? So, like, when I was sick all week, I was just, like, playing Fortnite, got okay. back into it. I don't know why. You're and it's, like, Fortnite. so, like, you know what's awesome about Fortnite now? Yeah, what's, what's awesome about Fortnite? It's, like, <laughs> play, it's like player, uh-huh. like, your accounts, like, it matches you with the amount of, like, level-based players. Yeah, skill-based. Yeah, and so since I haven't played in so long, it was just matching me up with, like, Literally yeah, like retards. five year olds and kids that don't know how to play. So you're just so wrecking. I, I was kids yeah, I'm like, I'm like, sure it wasn't just like. I remember when we stopped playing Fortnite? It was because they started putting in bots. No, it was just because it's it's it probably is bots, but it's just like. Still. Yeah, we thought we were so good at Fortnite. Yeah, but still, it's match all it's skill or skill or play. I'm like facing kids like my cousin's age, just like destroying them. But then it like I it, but it sucks because it's like I was th- I was starting to play a couple rounds. So I started like recognizing that I wasn't. Shit, start putting yeah, me in man. Building, with better building players. Like a yeah, start putting me in with better players. And I was like, fuck this. Bro, fuck. I was trying to find that video of that like thirty-year-old like retarded guy that's obsessed with Fortnite. Fortnite. Oh, Fortnite, that made that song. The, the September. Yeah, he did like the the Fortnite. Oh, uh, the. Do you remember Tilted Towers? towers. <laughs> yeah. 
Or no, you know which one? No, you know which one? Number one victory royale. Yeah, it's about to go and get down. Ten kills on the board right now. Just uh, got tomato town. <laughs> yeah. My French got down. Did we ever translate the fucking comment on Instagram? No. I think I'm gonna do that. It says bull by SPP in my asshole. No, Did you guys know that Meatloaf was Jack Black's dad in the ki- in the Tenacious Day movie? What? Yeah, yeah. Meatloaf just died. Yeah, no. R.I.P. Yeah. Ripped to the home That's More like meat cock. <laughs> yeah. More like meat in my mouth. Meatloaf. More like a loaf of meat in my fucking mouth, please. Yeah, more please. like a... More like, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> more like, fuck me hard. Jack Black, more like Jack cl- clap my ass cheeks. Oh, I didn't... I, I got a bit in my notes. I have no way to get into this without being awkward about it, but fucking... I didn't know if I was going to be allowed to do this because it's kind of racist, okay. but I was joking about it with my black friend, Tarim. And he thought it was hilarious, but uh, I was geeking because he was he made this like because he's like a, a edgy black kid, like because he's like a skater kid. Okay. So he wears like spiked belts and like chain wallets and shit. But he made this like like vest thing, like a black vest, and it has like like fucking like defund the police on it, and, like a cab and shit. And he was like and like all this like fucking like misfit shit and like skate shit and he was like bro check out the vest and I was like dude that ACAP stickers f- that ACAP patch is fire bro I'm all for the all cocks are big movement dude <laughs> <laughs> they can't <laughs> big pussy can't keep us down any longer no, bro sir. <laughs> I don't, I'm sick of the size shaming bro all cocks are big all cocks are big <laughs> The all cocks are big movement, dude. I had a bit on my phone that was like, when someone's like, oh, I'm not trying to sound racist, just reply with, oh, dude, I'm fucking so racist. <laughs> dude, I don't see size. <laughs> dude. All cocks are the same. All, all cocks. cocks are the same to me, dude. Huge. Your cock is gigantic to me, bro. Brother, your cock is <laughs> Your cock is huge, dude. I've never seen a small dick in my life. I couldn't tell you what a small dick <laughs> What is a small dick? Dude, wait, small dick writer? You mean the beautiful dick you writer page? You mean huge cock? You mean the yeah. beautiful cock right in front of me? Let me see if there's a big dick problem subreddit. There totally is. <laughs> and do they have any them. contact with the small dick subreddit? <laughs> they're like, come on, guys. I know you guys think they're so small. You guys small, know there's a... There but was, I'm out here. Did you know there was a Reddit them. island? <laughs> Did you know there was a Reddit island trying to be funded? I thought you were going to... From the corner of my ear when you sure said that, I thought you were saying, do you guys know there's a Rhode Island? <laughs> no way. <laughs> a Reddit island? Yeah. What is that, like a, <laughs> a, like a extra pedophile island? Nah, it was like some <laughs> shit. I watched like a little bit on it yesterday, but it was like... Where? He's like, guy, he got... Is in like the Caribbean? He had like, no, he got like... Yeah, it was, like, some, like, island that, like, you couldn't get to, and they were trying to, like, get to it and make it into, like, their own, like, personal, yeah, like, paradise, the Redditor paradise, and then that didn't work out, but then there was, like, this, like, Redditor who got, who said he got, like, his grandpa died, and he got, like, 140 acres of land on, like, some, like, nice. big, like, mountain thing, nice. and that, like, the redditors can come there and dude. like inhabit big that. dick problems and- <laughs> rules dude <laughs> hold on <laughs> let me just read this bro this guy is fucking dope <laughs> hey guys i'm really curious how big do you need to be to have a career in porn i'm seven and a half by seven by seven and a half Seven really, by seven? Seven by seven. Holy shit. I really don't know what size of male porn star like is because of the camera Trump. angles. They all look really huge. Any what size, bro, do you fucking... need to work for a major company? Thanks for opinions. And then That's it's just a bunch doable. of guys like, dude, you can literally have a five inch dick. You fucking get in there, you got bro. A trunk, dude. You go in there, boss hog. You <laughs> win, King. Big man, you do good in there today. <laughs> you do good in there, boss. He slaps his ass. <laughs> get in there, boss man. Get in there, dude. You're you, need is huge. you need me to be your fluffer, bro? I got you. A fluffy, bro. <laughs> Yeah, it's just a bunch of guys complaining about their big dicks. Like, <laughs> there's like a picture of a big ass tower, and it's like four play <laughs> plus lube. She'll be fine. <laughs> totally not gonna destroy shit. her. <laughs> Wait, I can do it on the TV. I forget. Should I throw it? Size just throw it? queens of big dick problems. What's your preference? Size queens. 
do you guys eat a lot? <laughs> I've, I've, been wa- I've been seeing how huge your cocks are. Do you guys like... Does all your fat go to your cock? If I look up r slash big dicks, is it just going to be pictures of big dicks, like how r slash yeah, small dicks is? Probably. You guys want to check them out, see how huge <laughs> these dicks are? We'll see. r slash big dick shot lounge. Shot lounge. Dude, this is a live chat. A live this is all the all the talk that has happened yet. Hey, hey. hi, hi, <laughs> hi, hi. Do you have big dick? <laughs> yes. Hey. <laughs> Good. What should we go in for a subreddit? I'm just gonna comment on this Reddit thing real quick. My dick's small, actually. <laughs> I actually have a small dick. Let's see how the small work. dicks are doing. Small dick boys, how you doing? My you see, I was finally good. able to make my uh, my smashing pumpkin small dick meme. Yeah, that was. Yeah. <laughs> that was nice. Is God real? <laughs> it was that so works. perfect that, that, that works. <laughs> I think I had another one after that where it was like a uh, another really sad one. I can't even read that from here. Trash. I can't focus on anything else because sex is very important. To I'm me. up. I'm vo- I got two upvotes on my my dick's actually Fuck small. Can't comment. try any nice. of those things. Sex is most most fun activity. I watch a lot of porn, and if I had average dick, I would be happy. Without sex, everything else loses meaning to me because what's the point? Work hard, save money, travel, play video games for what? I will never be able to feel the sensation of stretching a woman. Or getting a great like blowjob, feeling her mouth all the way. Yeah. Life just sucks, and I'm tired. The only thing I can wait. Did he say you never feel the sensation of stretching a woman's pussy? Nah, the man is obsessed. Stretch, stretching a woman. That's what he said. Nothing after that. Huh? That's it. That's it for him. <laughs> On r slash Reddit request, the subreddit r slash Big Dick has incorrectly been banned. What? Yeah, there's been... Say what? There's been some foul play. <sighs> some shit That's happened. fucking bold. Real dip, dipper Do you have noticed? What? Every time Cumtown talks about a Reddit, it gets oh, banned. big dick problems popped up. Mm. Like, Ooh, I wait, tra- whoa, whoa, whoa. They talked about J-pop fap a while, like a Yo. week ago, and I tried looking for it, and it's Cam. banned. What? Did you know they have an average dick problems? Really? Yeah. Let's go through average dick problems, because this is something I can get behind. <laughs> I, I, I can't read from here. Like, oh, cool. Yeah, get up close. All right. Get your mic closer to your face. Yeah, give me a second. Do it! Yeah. Now! <laughs> Anything good on that? Should I just look it up on my phone? You can, like, zoom in the screen, you know. I think, at least. I'd hope so. R slash average dick problems. Just had sex yesterday, and there is something that I want to share. Okay. I'm 5.3 inches in length and 4.8 inches in girth, so really low average dick. Uh, but yesterday, I had sex with a girl who was not petite, but not tall either. Around 5 foot tall, and when she was holding my dick, it looked big! Hey! And the feeling of having a good looking dick, not porn actor level, but still having. still looked what? big enough that even me was aroused by it. LOL. I'm a normal sized guy, 5'8, tall, but have big hands. So having someone with small hands holding it was a real change. Nice. Strangely, I've never realized that it's something so logical. Average dick and big hands look small, average dick and small hands looks big. Yeah, right? Look at, the look at this. Look at this. It's eating away at me that she used to sleep with my well-endowed friend and enjoy it. So here's the deal. Four years ago, my girlfriend and my best friend engaged in a friends with benefit relationship the summer before we all went off to university. She wasn't my girlfriend at the time. The hooking up worked out so well that the two of them tried dating for a while, but it didn't work out and they chose to remain friends. Now fast forward. Hold on, wait, no, no, stop. He's the asshole. Yeah. He's literally yeah, the no asshole. Shit. Yeah, no shit. He's the one should have... The, the French should have yeah. a fucking problem with him. He's the one dating his ex. Now fast forward <laughs> to present day. She and I are together. Our relationship is going great. We vibe so well, and I know she cares about me in a way she will never care about him. <coughs> the only problem is we have... Incons- 
consummated, consummated, I don't know what that word is, our relationship yet due to my worry that I won't measure up. Wait, he hasn't fucked her yet? This is because I, it's a pretty open secret that my friend is well endowed, 7.5 by 5.7. How does he know what the size of his friend's How dick? How does he know the exact, exact size? Dimensions. That's what I'm saying. Length is his girl. friend like a Jake dude and like right saying it? Right after he Length girth, let's go. <laughs> he was just at Baja's and he was like, what's your dick size? He was measuring weird. it out up close. Meanwhile, I'm pretty <laughs> squarely average, 6.5. <laughs> Five that's just by four point five. That's just or four point five. Yeah, that's an inch difference. You Obviously, I know sizes and over? everything, and that a lot of women don't care. I would also like to know you that know, I have never felt this kind what? of insecurity with previous partners, probably because they were less baggage and emotional pressure involved. Oh, because he didn't know that all of his other partners. Guess what? They probably fucked black dudes they didn't tell you about. Yeah, no <laughs> shit. <laughs> They've all had bigger dicks than you, bro. The reason I it's feel differently in this particular goes. case is because she made comments while they were sleeping together that made it clear she was into the size. Basically, they didn't match up long term. Why does personally he know exactly wise. what happened? She, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know what is he, no, no, no. is he? Is it that or is he like talking to his boy about how his boy was like banging her and then he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. She was all like, yeah, the size. Yeah, his, his boy right out. His yeah. boy's just he trying to get into his. his like, yeah, man, like go for whatever. I know that you have like a small ass <laughs> dick, and I have a seven point seven eight by five, and she loves that shit. She yeah, even she told me like yeah, she well, does not like, <laughs> like how well, big's your dick? Oh, six point five. Yeah, she, she told me she said. hates six point five. Yeah, while we're while we're, we're we <laughs> said, actually, <laughs> while while hey, let me tell you this. While we were banging, she was saying, "Oh my God, the size so matters. Your seven point." Five by five point seven inch dick is so much better. I can't Jeez. deal with that. Six point five by four point five. No good. I, I like to formally <laughs> ban this guy to small dick problem subreddit. Honestly, yeah. I know that you have a pretty decent dick, bro, but you're going to small. The dick reason I feel the wait, 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 wait. Obviously, let me, let's finish this. We got one more. Paragraph. You're talking with the heart hey. of a small dicked man. Hey, we got one more paragraph. Let's finish this out strong. Oh. Obviously, we all have matured a lot since then. Like many people, our tastes and priorities will have changed between the ages of Obviously, 19 to 23. Still, though, this has really been gnawing away at me, and now I'm concerned that I will not be able to satisfy her. Any advice or thoughts would be greatly appreciated now. You know who it is. This guy says you need to fuck your girlfriend before your insecurities end the relationship. This will never get better until you face your fears and address it. Your size is perfect. You know who it hasn't been gnawing away at? His girl. Oh, my God, dude. All these people, dude, are like... All like the uh, the the commenters. Or just us? No, they're like posting their dick size. Hell, Nathan Girth, let's go. Stats going. Yeah. What's your stat? Should we make baseball cards of us with our exact dick size dimensions yeah. as the first stat? <laughs> Link Girth shirt. Sure. Whoa, this guy's got an erection educator Did they badge. Put their small dick, their soft dick. Dude, size dude, dude. Our dick size. Probably both. Dude, yeah. the erection educators yeah. in it. Er- erection educators here. Yeah. <laughs> You want to see what he, you see what he down the fucking door? <laughs> yeah. You're not measuring right! You want to see what he has to <laughs> say? Thinking that a particular Fucking size is what satisfies you don't all women from top. is a simply <laughs> immature way to view a woman's sexuality. You might even offend some women by saying so. You have a personal mental problem. That's the end of it. Even if she does like bigger cocks, that's it's perfectly like hygiene, okay. <laughs> and it doesn't mean that you are adequate. I prefer per- Ferraris, but I'll never have one. Thinking a woman must have some perfect penis to be satisfied is just silly. Maybe I'll get to play with a Ferrari someday, or maybe my wife will enjoy maybe a ride. I'll get to and play with a big dick someday. But it's what? Not, <laughs> not going to ruin our marriage. He raised their Ferrari, Ferrari, Ferrari reference as terms for a big dick, and then said, "Maybe I'll get to play with a Ferrari someday." This guy get trapped. Dude, some guy doctor. called the dude. Some guy called him out, dude, with a, some guy with a small dick. Whoo! Punching up. We got oh. heat coming down. Punching up. All right. His dick's four inches by four point two five. <laughs> Aren't you into PE? Do you even take your own advice? If so, why do PE? And bruh, Is she put PE him in. Penis she education? put him in. Yeah. yeah. Your own and bruh, she put. <laughs> fucking post on Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, she put it, Study up. it into his head by holding it as a priority worth mentioning. More likely than not even asking to hear it, and she offered it. Dude. Go home. 
Whoa, I'm done with p- whoa, 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 whoa. This insane. guy says I'm done with PE. I've overcome my Imagine physical disability and I can warm. now have sex without pain. <laughs> What's your big thought? enough? Here's you the compliments. Uh, that's great. Whatever, man. A cap. The penis educator. All cocks are big. <laughs> All cocks are big, bro. I don't yeah. fucking. Don't tell the size. penis educator that one. I do not. There's no such thing as a small dick. Um. Show me any day. It's not small. Dude, you know how a while ago we were talking about how Akon bought that island? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what else he has in South Africa? What? A diamond mine. Yeah, you didn't know that? Oh, he only wears no diamonds way. from his Where's own the- diamond mine. Does he... Are they blood diamonds? Does Dude, I saw a picture. With respect. The other day of him a wearing problem, a diamond. Like, child labor and, like... He was wearing Nasty the diamond on, like, a thin chain the size of, like... Dude, it was, fucking, like, like, it was just one single diamond. Yeah, you know the one yeah. I'm talking about, yeah, right? I'm about. <laughs> I'll pull it up. Yeah, pull up Akon Diamond Mind. Yeah, dude. And it's, like, a super sketchy, illegal-ass business, I'm yeah, pretty sure. He, like, diamond. doesn't like to talk about how he bought it. But he has child labor and... Akon, the lonely island... Just a mm-hmm. Wait, let's look at his chain. I bet it's tight. I bet it's real nice. Where is it? I can't find a picture. I want to see the one with him with the gigantic ass chain. Or the, not the chain's not big, but the diamond's it. big. I know what you're talking about. I mean, when you make stuff like this, you can buy diamond mines in South yeah. Africa. Yeah. And whole cities. And you get grants for a second city when your first city isn't even done. He's a visionary. You know how his first city is for black African Ameri- like black Americans? You know how we talked about his first cities for black Americans? Yeah, they go back to Africa. <laughs> okay. Uh, Jimmy's getting to that point. No, no, I'm <laughs> saying that's probably his goal. It's like back to... He wants but back do you think the second one that they're granting for is only for white people? <laughs> Maybe. Probably not. Hey, Josh, um, do you have those... Uh, slippers I usually wear when I'm here, <laughs> down oh, here right now. What are you, footsies? Yeah, room, yeah I'm man. a little fucking cold. Your footsies are cold. You want grab them for me? Oh my god, sure. Thanks, dog. You got cold tootsies? This is why we need an assistant, bro. Or like a... We need an intern. Make us pastries while we do Non-talking this. Non-talking intern that we abuse. An intern where we just tell them that they're just going to be running cameras, but then we make them also cook food and get everything we need. We wow, abuse really them and make them be naked the whole time. <laughs> that, was not, that was not respectful at all, Josh. Jeez. We treat them. We treat. We we'll treat our intern like Brandon Novak on uh, Viva La Bam, and we just make them be naked the entire time. <laughs> Throw fucking. Just in a thong. Throw screws at him, dude. Just a fucking. So I was thinking. Seventeen-year-old Chinese guy <laughs> that we abuse. We got the Black uh, Alien Project. What about, about it? <laughs> I'll have him. Dude, the other alien you sent me was way cooler than with the horns. Yeah, dude. The rhinoceros like, guy. He looks like... He's not a muscle mommy, bitch. He looks like Darth Really? Ball. Have you seen his muscle mommy? No. No. Dude. He's a muscle mommy, shardy. Dude. Dude, I want to be yes, him. Yes, sir. Just a fucking alien tattooed guy with horns He's and a muscle living. mommy. Let me show you. He's living a good life. Imagine mommy. watching them fuck. It's a moment. It's powerful. Dude, his muscle mommy is fine. Oh yeah. How insane. How insane we talk. All of our pictures are super edited. So how are you liking not being in the lawn chair? It's n- very nice. Really? Is yeah. the lawn chair that bad? Cam. Well it's just a lawn chair. Cam. This yeah. is just muscle mommy. Dude. She's tatted, yes, has fake sir. titties, and she's ripped? Yeah. Yes, at all. Dude, look at her. What else? She's got her eyes need. tattooed she's and shit. She's fine as fuck. What else yeah. does a man need? She's got she's got horns, too. Hold on, show him the horn guy. Oh, wow. Wait, did she get her chest blasted? 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure. But in the other picture, it wasn't. No, nah, it was just super edited her pictures. Oh, damn. Uh, You're probably a fucking freak. Faux show. You think he gets pegged? Probably. Wow. Definitely. He's yeah. ripped, dude. He looks fat, but he's actually ripped. He looks if like you look a rapper. Up. Did you see this one? You know what he literally looks like? <laughs> like Bebop. <laughs> yeah. From Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Like Bebop. Bebop. I always say, you know, Bebop and Rocksteady? <laughs> The hog and the rhino. Yes. Oh, yes. I always say that me and Josh look like them. But you know what I was thinking? That guy though? literally does. You know what I was thinking? <laughs> Do you think like he wants to chop his cock off? Definitely. Probably not. Because he wants to cut his legs off. He wants to cut his legs off. Why? That black alien project? Oh, he does. Yeah. yeah. I thought you were talking about that guy. He wants to be in like guy. a cool ass oh, no. Yeah. That's cool. No, I was he thinking... wants bionic legs. Yeah. He posted them. Do you think he wants to? Do you think he believes? Do not follow Black Alien Project. Yeah. No. Do you think do you even Jake <laughs> follows him? Dude, come do, on. Do you yeah. think uh, he believes in Scientology? Good for him. Probably believes in something like more crazy than Scientology. That's true. Actually, wait. I know. I was watching this interview. What did he say? He says he doesn't believe in God, but he believes in like an energy, a higher power. Yeah, I. Me too. But. Yeah. <laughs> but. That's not that crazy. Yeah. He was saying Making that, him seem like he was a saying, psycho. When we looked at his friends, they weren't that good. No, nah, he was dude. chill. He was just a normal dude in the, in the interview. They wouldn't work out after. He just after. happens to want to chop his legs off. And yeah, he said he can happens. hear better when he chops his ears off. He said, like, he can hear behind him when, like, people are talking behind him. I mean, I bet you're more open. And then he said his, like, nose, he can, like, breathe more. I bet. But he says it open, gets, he says it gets cold. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> when you don't have like, that fuck. Flesh. He just like, cut the rest of his lip off. Got Think he ever regrets it? Nah. He fucking loves it, dude. Uh, yeah. I feel he, like I'd be so He said he's been waiting to do this project forever, but he lived with his mom and he couldn't do it how he wanted to. So well, when he got yeah, his, when, yeah, he, yeah. when he first moved Fuck out, you, mom, he, yeah, when he moved down and he got his first house, that's when he like started going like intense with the got his whole face done. And yeah, it works. He probably gets paid a fuck trying to be that. Yeah, he does tattoos now. He's doing he's like he's a tattoo artist. He just started doing abstract tattoos. It's the Black Alien art project. Abstract or... tattoos. You mean shitty tattoos? Yeah, the Alien <laughs> tattoo abstract. He's only done four tattoos. That's right. So... Oh. oh, that's actually pretty good. Yeah. I mean, it's cool. Yeah, it probably takes fucking forever. Nah, I don't think that takes forever. Mm. I've done scratch tattoos before. Uh, a lot of the things I do on Tarim are scratch tattoos. Uh, we did his hand. We did a... Yeah, I tattooed Slave on a black guy's hand. <laughs> <laughs> we did uh, Slave to no one. But then to uh, no one is like on the side of his wrist. So it just looks like there's like a big slave on his no, hand in like goodness. death metal font. Isn't that powerful? If it's facing towards him though, like a lot of his tattoos Did he get that are... as like the suicide silence? Probably. Like, he's super into uh, uh, the hardcore scene. He's like sober. He has like the, the hard like hardcore sober like tattoos. Uh, he, straight edge. He works at a bar, he's a bartender. Uh, but he's sober. Hmm. Temptations. Temptations. Gotta put yourself around it to yeah, beat for it. For real. Willpower. Sex addiction working on a porn side. I wanna have him on the pod, but I don't think he should have a mic. He's mm. super loud. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I think he can just sit there, like, like Ricky. Ricky. Popped up, yeah. That was nice. That was a good bit. Well, me and Jimmy also moved like his laugh is stories. gonna like spike the mic super high. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> his audio thing just sounds like nothing. It looks like Predator. Oh the way his God. hair is, because he has like a dread mohawk. Yeah, it's pretty dope. Next yeah. thing you know, he's got a little thing coming out of his mouth. Yeah, for real, he gets horns. He becomes one of the Black Alien Project guys. He's like, can you cut my nose off, bro? It's perfect, because I love tattooing him. Yeah, who do you go to? He likes shitty tattoos. He he goes to Mexico. Goes to, like... Yeah, you can't. Professionals, he calls them. Guys, it's super shocking to get shit done in Mexico. They just, like... I wonder if they put him under for all of it. He didn't really answer that question good. He said, like, some stuff he stays awake for, but I don't know if he, like... I don't know, like... Did he stay awake for his ears? His nose? It's possible. He's a crazy motherfucker. He might want to do yeah. that. Suck. It's like our fucking... I thought our fucking piercer was crazy, dude. 
Nah, dude, this guy is fucking crazy compared to him. I mean, he's only Pitsuri is crazy. He's only at forty percent of his I was transformation. Cam. So hard at those bits we were doing. The Black Alien the Project's only at forty percent transformation. We were doing like the forty percent. The most interesting man in the world, but most confusing man in the world, and it's our piercer. Yeah. And it's like, I don't, I don't always wear a Trump hat, but when I do, I wear my Joe Biden shirt with my lingerie under, and I go to the shooting range. What were you trying to I, look at in the? And then I protest the, the, about the junk food in the vending machine. What and were then you, I skirt off in my diesel truck. What's going on? What were you looking <laughs> at, a Messenger? That we couldn't figure out what. Uh, it was uh, who Jimmy went to, uh, Jimmy and Papa John were with someone else in the yeah N-word did you end up finding it no I did not find it I forgot who we were making jokes about so sad alright well you keep talking I'm gonna find it fuck so sad it was like uh, I think it was a white guy holy oh, shit we have so many fucking too many memes was it even someone that said the N word or were we just making a joke was it Bob Saget? <laughs> I'm just looking at our messengers and you sent me a picture of the Black Alien Project and you're like, bro, dummy thick for an alien. <laughs> <laughs> he is, bro. He is pretty thick for an alien. He wants to cut them legs off, bro. Dude, maybe it's so his ass looks fatter because it'll cut up to his yeah. ass. Maybe it's so his ass propped up on the What if he just gets a huge legs. ass from him? <laughs> ass and he gets an insane ass. <laughs> just a dumb cheat, truck. Cheat the fuck like, up. Really bad gets... so that it's like a bunch of like <laughs> like the spiky things <laughs> on his ass cheeks. You can look, but you can't touch. He gets a bunch of fucking big set of titties. <laughs> <laughs> he fucking Marilyn Mar- Mar- Manson's it. He cuts off his dick. It's a vagina. <laughs> going in i fucking love it dude like it's just being an alien do you think he'll get his dick cut off eventually and smooth it out smooth that's what i'm saying past human desires mm-hmm. just being an alien. who was it that we were talking about going to the fucking n-word classes that's what i'm saying was it macho man i'm just thinking of people yeah. we talk about it was yeah, macho I man say in the end. stop saying the n-word stop yeah. I can't stop saying beep. Yeah. <gasps> it's just so good. Yeah. I don't know, man. I know it was really good because I was geeking. I think I went past it. Was it over the phone? Because that'd be just terrible. No, I don't think it was. It was after you sent the Jimmy N word like thing. I don't know, dude. Whatever. I'm fucking over it. I'll go back to Jackie Four Chan. Oh, I I can't just stop saying the N word. <laughs> so easy. They keep on uh, like I can actually speak English. They keep on saying I can't say the N word. I don't know. Bitch. I didn't really work on Jackie Four Chan too much. Bitch, you're a bitch. <laughs> Wait, hold on. This an original? Akon. No. I also never find that Kanye song that was about driving Kanye. The Kanye song about driving Kanye. Well, I made it into driving Kanye. Yeah. So you'll see some Jackie Jam. Nice piano. You know Jackie Chan in music? I didn't. Is he playing the piano? That was my bit for the OK I Love You. That's one of the songs. Is it in Chinese? Yeah. Good for him. <sighs> I think I was, was all over the phone. Playing the guitar? I don't know. Oh, that part was hard. That went hard. This is how I feel now that we lost both. It's like Chinese American. Yeah, Chinese American folk. This one is written in English. So transparent is my heart. 
Okay, I have to listen to this one. It's called I'm Michael Jackson, you Tito. <laughs> oh, it's from Rush Hour. This is the United States of James Carter now. I'm the president, I'm the emperor, I'm the king. I'm Michael Jackson, you Tito. That was it? Oh, it's just a bit from Rush Hour? This one was also for a movie, but I don't... I don't know what it is. Some Chinese movie. Looks like it's something about the police. Maybe. I don't know. I'm over it. Jackie Porchenko for him. Okay. I love you. Wait, I think I know what it might have been. What? It wasn't... Uh, it was Jimmy was at class with Papa John's. But it was that's where he goes Monday nights instead of going to plumbing class. He doesn't go to plumbing yeah. class. That's the class I, he goes to. Was I, it that? I think that's what it might have been. Shit, let me just FaceTime you and get it back. <laughs> <laughs> you figured me out. <laughs> Let's just hold on. We'll figure it out. Because it was like it was if I lost the podcast. You're like if Jimmy can't f- come in tonight, he's, on, I'm gonna like, FaceTime you. We're gonna figure this out. <laughs> Okay, so it's like, it's like, we lost the pod. Jimmy, we don't know if he has classes tonight. Yeah, so like, if I can't get it back, then like, we might need to like... And then, and then Macho Man walks into Jimmy's N-word classes, and he's like, Oh yeah, oh yeah, I can't stop saying the N-word. I've tried everything else. I've tried colored people. I've tried. I've tried black people. I've tried African Americans. It just doesn't feel as good as me. And then Papa John's was there like better pizza, better better ingredients, better pizza. Better pizza. Yeah. Oh yeah, I know what you're saying, brother. I like your pizza and I like your morals, brother. I like what you're saying. I'm picking up what you're putting down. And then Jimmy came in there and he's like, "What's up, my peeps?" And they're like, "Brother, you keep brother, saying like, brother. brother, we're in classes right now. Working on this, brother. This is why we're here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm thinking about saying. Oh, yeah, I'm thinking about saying. <laughs> no macho man. No Come on, you did so good, macho. Mm, I'm thinking about singing. I'm thinking the great Elizabeth is sleeping around with one of those dirty, no good. Don't say it, macho. Don't say it. I'm sorry, Elizabeth. <laughs> But you're sleeping with a bunch of them. I seen you walking around here. Oh, trying oh, out with one of them monkeys here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, All right, man, I don't think we figured it out. Right, I'm a bedib. It's tough. Peace. Oh, I was going to say. Wow. <laughs> wow. Bye, white girl. Bye. Uh, yeah, so I guess we couldn't figure it out. Nah. That's so unfortunate. But I guess Macho Man <laughs> said the ad word, so it's cool. Yeah. That's crazy. Okay. Uh, let me, we need the soundboard, dude. This podcast sucks. It fucking sucks. It fucking sucks. It's sucks. so gay. It's so terrible. Yeah. Yeah. It's like... It's like... What's the next move? Kill her? Beep! It's over? Yeah. This is a loaded gun. Yep. I'm pointing it right at you, Jimmy. Yep. With my finger on the trigger. Let's not do that. Jimmy's scared. Jimmy's scared. Man, Mark, here, I'm going to fucking shoot my friend. <laughs> yeah, that's not point. Look. That's not point. I'm going to fucking shoot gun. at my friend while he runs in a chicken outfit. That's not point. Gun, gun, gun. I'm just listening and I'm going to fucking kill myself. I'm fucking dodging ball. Oh, I got him. I got him in the freaking head. Thank God he's out. I'm just listening I'm going to put this gun in my mouth and pull the trigger. Oh, let's get it! Dude, I can't wait for Jackass Four. Right? <laughs> we gotta go. We gotta, we gotta go to the premiere. Wait.
Josh? <laughs> no way. No! He didn't know. Bow, now, now. Drifting, right, dude. Yeah, you're not used to rolling, <laughs> are you? I'm don't you right. miss the fucking launch? I don't, I don't miss it. How about Jackass 4 Chan? Instead of Jackass <laughs> Forever. Just a bunch of small cock jokes. Hey, this is Steve Owen. I'm gonna storm the Capitol. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Jackass Fortune. <laughs> Just fucking, fucking beanbag, bro. Beanbags flying, dodos going everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I'm pissing on Nancy Pelosi's ass, dad. Oh, dude, fuck. Dad, we're My fucking again. jaw cracked when I was doing <laughs> the Steve Owen impression. Too intense. Dad. Back. Back, dude. Dad, look at my sick horns. Dad, welcome to three Steve O's. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the three Steve O podcast. <laughs> hey, Dad. We're back. <laughs> dad, so like it's so good being sober, dudes, right? <laughs> totally, dude. I love sobriety. <laughs> So much. I love it so much that I'm I, all the bits I've been pitching to Jackass. I got, I get the 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 Novocaine marathon. Yeah, <laughs> dude. If it's for a stun, it's not. Oh, it's not relapsing, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> do you know what Steve? He did that. Do you know what Steve bit? I actually kind of did. One, I tried to do once. What? Huff, the, uh, nah, the, have you ever seen him? <laughs> it was on his Instagram. No, it was on his Instagram. Board. Him trying to stay awake on anesthesia. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I did that my first time I ever did. Or I only got anesthesia once, but when I did it, like I told my doctor, I was like, I'm staying awake. I'm fighting it. He's like, No, you're not. And I actually stayed up for like 14 seconds. Nah, wow. Fighting it. Nah. He's like, Whoa, what the fuck? He's like, I'm not going to burn oh, alone. Oh, and then it like slowly sweet. kept hitting me. Yeah, like, Steve did a. Who's calling? Rick. Rick. What up, sexy? You're on the podcast. Is this a beautiful boy broadcast? That's not yeah. the name, boy but yeah, you're close yeah. enough. <laughs> Is it all right? Oh, God, I love you guys so much. I oh, yes, sir. Every uh, Sunday. Oh, yeah, I know yeah. you do. Were you drunk, Ricky? <laughs> <laughs> you guys suck. Wow. 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 Like you, bro. wow. I like to see. I don't want to listen to your podcast. Yeah, let's hear about there, the Ricky. Yeah. See how good that is. Yeah, my, my, my podcast sounds like this. How much? How much? You, how much you get in here with all I'll with our dads, dads and let's see how that yeah, sounds, let's huh? Yeah, let's do the beautiful my, men my podcast. <laughs> what are you guys talking about today? Dicks. Come. Uh, Jackie Dicks Fortune. Can, can't you talk about like any political stuff? Or yeah, we just we were. did. We were just talking, talking about, about storming the Capitol. Jackass, but they're storming the Capitol. <laughs> you guys are gonna storm the Capitol, huh? Wow. Yeah, Jackass style. Yeah, dude. And all you're going to hear is... Oh, what do you got? Who's That's all you're going to hear. Take a bullet in the head. Take a beanbag to the it's face. Like yeah, it's <laughs> rare. They only got two of them. You yeah. guys got straw straws on that one? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's only fair. Ricky, you want to take us out? End the podcast? Take us out? Hey, well, no, I don't want to take you guys out. Probably cost me too much money. Okay. Mm. I guess we'll have to do it ourselves. Yeah. I guess we have to do another hour. I guess. <laughs> so, anyway, yeah. Josh, what time are you going to be at Tattoo Tuesday? 12. 12? Alright. This one, dude. So, <laughs> fucking. Pembroke. Yeah. Alright. Alright, just wondering. Alright. Yeah, for the people <laughs> wondering, Tuesday. 12 o'clock. New tat. Be at yeah, Tattoo Shop in Pembroke. I'll be there. Yeah. I know. So, should have been fucking Wednesday, you dipshit. I know. I you fucking idiot. You that. fucking moron. I was thinking that so the other dumb. day, but it's then crazy. I was I was thinking that when I was booking it, He's but then so I, I didn't have my You're car fixed at the time, so I was like, if my car's not fixed by then, I was like, I want to have the truck. You're fucking crazy. So, that's yeah. why I did Tuesday, but then my car ended up actually getting fixed, so. Yeah. Yeah, so. Fucking wish she goes, but I'll line up a bunch of shit for you tomorrow. That's fine. Look at that. Fucking Take off for the hair, dude. Alright, oh, wow. Ricky. Well, we'll talk after because we're on the air, so. Alright, boys. Have a good broadcast. I gotta go. Alright, bye. I love you. Love you.
We all you guys love, love my dad? <laughs> yeah, we're, we're gay. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dad. Yeah. Dad. Can I get your dad's number, dude? Like, come on, dad, dude. Right, dude. I know what he likes, dude. POV. Steve O wants to fuck your dad. And he's really aggressive about dude, it. Dude, why do you never invite me over when your dad's home, dude? Damn, what, Damn, what if we do like a prank on your dad where I like go in there and start fucking him? Dude, like what if like we do a jackass bit? Hear me out and like me we out. sleep sneak me out for your dad for your mom. Yeah. And I start sucking your dad's dick. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. I'm down. Pretty why you never give me your dad's number, dude? <laughs> I need it. Dad, like, what's the big deal? So what? I stole a couple of your dad's underpants, dude. It's hilarious. What's the pro? It's a joke, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what? Dude, yeah. I'm kidding. Yeah. God. <laughs> it smells good. That's not... Come on. I don't like it. I'm straight, dude. Come on. I'm straight, dude. For real, though. Like, can I get a couple of pictures of your dad changing? Dad, it's not gay. I'm, it's a bit. It's for the next second. Come on. Dad. Come on, you think, please. <laughs> How you guys doing? Just take a dab, dude. Yeah. Are you fucking zooted? Right Are you now? fucking high right now? Alright, uh, so You're I was thinking. Right I now? think we should actually invest in a real sex doll. Oh, yeah? You think? Hear me out. Oh, yeah? Okay. Hear me out. Mm -hmm. It's not weird if we get it. If we. If it's not weird if we get it? Yeah. You know? Why? Because we're going to get it for a purpose. Yeah, but it's. But when we're not here, it's just that. E your house. Shit. No, no, no. Because it's going to be no, at your house. And you're not going to do no, anything with it? Listen, listen. Yeah. Uh-huh. We're buying it so Cam could learn how to tattoo better with it. Oh. Cam's going to give her a whole body suit. Yeah. And I'm not going to fuck her. Or, no, done. I would never fuck No, she's just going to sit That's on the couch. Gross. What? Yeah. What? So, it's for, so we should all put in for it? And yeah, I, it's I an totally investment to get Cam... Really good I at totally tattooing. I totally shouldn't do photorealism pictures of Ricky Martin. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, no, don't, don't, like, yeah. don't do the. Don't. <laughs> don't. And, like, Channing don't. Tatum and stuff. And, like, Young Ellen John That'd and George so Michael. Nasty, like, don't, dude. dude. Just. Don't do, like, young don't. Leonardo DiCaprio. And nah, and don't. Nothing you like can't. That. <laughs> nah, dude. <laughs> Not like a Ryan Reynolds back piece. Nah. Mm, nah. No. No. I mean. I mean, yeah. You know. <laughs> you know what to do. Yeah. Just do what you want. Just eyeball. Wing it. Mm -hmm. Just. Yeah. It better not be any of that. No pin up girls? Stuff. Ew. Hell no. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. Good, hell no. No, that's actually real. No, no, no. Pin up Ricky. Pin up Ricky Martin, though? And don't sleeve her dick out. Pin up Freddie Mercury. <laughs> Whoa, pin up Fred Freddie Mercury. Pin up what? Uh, don't sleeve her dick out. Oh, yeah, totally don't do that, dude. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> totally. Don't sleeve the replacement dick? Totally don't do that. No. And, like, her asshole. Let me know. Leave that, don't. I saw an interview the other day of some tattooed guy, and he was, like, they asked him what his favorite tattoo was, and he was like, he was like a shiny. He's like, well, I got my dick sleeved out. <laughs> he was like, I got. I got eyeballs side. on the underside of it. Uh-huh. And I got I got roses on the side. Yeah. And then on the top, a part I got a centipede going all the way up the top. That's sick. That's cool. His dick sleeved out, man. So I got my, my dick all sleeved out. That's fucking sick, bro. <laughs> Oi, bro, that's fucking sick. And I was like, sick. damn, bro, just, not just getting your dick tattooed once, but getting it fully going back sleeved out yeah, going like yeah. four times. Yeah. That's dedication. It's fucked. <laughs> That's man shit. How bad do you think it hurts? I like pretty. Yeah. <laughs> like, but when you think about it, no, you know, when like you get when punched you, in the dick, it doesn't hurt. But when you get punched stabbed in the balls, hundreds of times. I feel the underside would really hurt. Think about this. You ever, you ever like, shave you, like, your, your shaft and you, like... You'd also have to maintain You ever shave your hard. shaft and accidentally get a little cut on it? 
Yeah, on the underside yeah. it kills. Yeah. And on the base. Yeah, boy's yeah. got his sleeved out, Kim. Trust me, I, I, trust me, I, you know I shave my shaft and get it cut so darn yeah, so bro. <laughs> <laughs> Boy's got the whole the whole thing sleeved out. That means he's got the under part done too. Yeah, I know he has eyeballs in the under part. <laughs> yes, <Yeah, sorry. laughs> that's wild. <laughs> How sick do you think it looks though? <laughs> it looks probably awesome. <laughs> I know. Because sometimes, like, I'd be looking at like myself naked in the mirror, and I like. My See, but how all, good like, is it though? Because you got to find a good tattoo artist. Number one, if she, they're tattooing you. Also, dick. if you have a hog, it's probably yeah. pretty easy. Yeah, right. You can't have. Oh, a think about dick. if you have a hog that like he, like a fucking like huge dick. You gotta get it really done. Fucking yeah, deep take, shading in there. Take way. If you're longer. a seven point seven five by seven. Yeah. <laughs> it's a small dick a problem, trunk. guys. They can get their dick sleeved out like no issue. Yeah. Let's get our dick sleeved out, bro. Hell no. Should I get the Playboy bunny on my dick? <laughs> yes. Yeah, on my balls. Do it. Oh, I get my taint tattooed, dude. Imagine he- that healing. Stress. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Especially for you. Yeah, dude. Infections, Infections bro. <laughs> just bubbling out. <laughs> dude, You're I just sh- cry all if you the get, time. If you get it on like your dick or some shit, I'll pay for it. <laughs> You'll pay for it? Yeah. <laughs> nah. I know Michael. Michael I tell myself if I ever got my dick tattooed, I get an accordion on my cock. <laughs> <laughs> Good. So you gotta get hard. It stretches out. Yeah, <laughs> hey, get what you want. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> do, 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 do. It's getting hard and soft over and over again. Yeah, you gotta keep fluffing it up and pat it. Uh, or if you're a grower and you gotta like. Trust me, I'm a grower, bro. <laughs> Like, only a grower. I feel like most people are. Like, I have the dick of a baby when it's soft. I have a pretty decent dick when, yeah. I think we've had this conversation before. Yeah. Me and, yeah. I've been watching a lot of Seinfeld this week. Like, only Seinfeld, actually. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I was watching an episode where George got walked in on while changing. And it was fresh out, out, to, out the pool. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's at, like, dinner. And he's like, he's like you know... I swear this shirt is tight on me. It's like a trunk or something. You know, water. <laughs> it must have been water. It's water. It shrinks things. And they're just laughing at him. Dude, bad, fucking Seinfeld's the best. <laughs> That's the best television show. Mm. Besides, like, The Sopranos. Sopranos and Seinfeld are the only good television shows. Top two and, shows. and Rob Deerdeck's Fantasy Factory. <laughs> <laughs> Those, three. Those are the it. only three good shows. That's it. <laughs> and Pokemon. Yeah. Pokemon that November. It's pretty tight. Oh, Titans of Industry. Mm. I can't wait for Pokemon that November this year. I know. It's kind of good. Yeah. It's really good. Oh yeah, it's gonna be really good. You said you know uh, the time on the thing, right? You figured it out. Yeah, no, I don't know. Exactly. No, you what still didn't. I just know that it does it in fours. Do you know how long we've been going? I think like an hour and a half. Give me a second. Let me do the math. If you do it, do. Uh. I'm gonna say an hour now. Oh, yeah. Yup. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. I've been seeing a lot of metal bands have been covering that shit. Good. There's yeah. a couple of people I work that never heard of Brandon Branch and I introduced. What a bunch of idiots, really. Like and they were like 25 year old men. They were like 23. All the, all the 60 year old men that you work with knew, though. They were like 23. <laughs> yeah. Like, what? Uh, yeah, Ram Ranch. The 65 year old foreman you have just looks up and. You don't know Ram Ranch! Are you fucking, Are you fucking retarded? <laughs> Gay or stupid? <laughs> How can you not know? 18 you know, naked. 18 naked cowboys in the showers of Ram Ranch. Big hard throbbing cocks waiting to be, be so- fucked. <laughs> cowboys 18 to be naked fucked. cowboys waiting to be fucked. Are you kidding me? Cowboys Are you in kidding? the shower? Cowboys in the yard. At Ram Ranch. Just fucking mm-hmm. imbeciles. Yeah.
You know what have been cool? What? You know, I changed my my intro music for WWE. Yeah. I don't because obviously you can't make it just a Ram Ranch song because yeah. children and retarded guys watch WWE. Yes. But you could just make it the instrumental. Yeah. Yeah, you know? Definitely. And I'm, I come out singing it. Because you can't, you know, unless you're lip syncing. Unless you're lip mic's reading. Pick it up. I'm just like, yeah, you're not holding a mic. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so. You just sing. I'm screaming at fans the fans, all the eight year olds in the crowd. 18 naked cowboys in the showers of Ram Ranch. Big Art Darby Cox. Yeah, I got, I got one of them. Them fucking singlets on, yeah. But the it's big like, show singlet. but it's it's skin colored and it has nipples on it and a penis Bulges. with bush. Bulge is huge. So it just looks like I'm naked. Stuff your pants. Mm-hmm. Big fat cocks throbbing hard. Mm-hmm. Kabasa strapped through the yard. Big fat titty milkers in my face. Are you get fucking yatted after this? Yeah, the tattoo. Yeah, tattooed. Yeah, I'm doing a, a MF Doom tattoo on him. Hell yeah. Yeah. The I'm fucking, I think we should do it on your fucking music arm and make it spray paint on the pricks. Mm. I got a 14 round liners in the mail and 14 round tubes so I can get like fucking fiat lines. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about, kinda. You can under, You can assume what a 14 round liner is. Yeah. I mean, that's like a seven, and that's pretty thick. Yeah, it says a seven. Yeah. Trust me, I know. You know? I know. You know? That's the hardest part about, like, wearing out a tattoo is figuring out needle sizing. Because mm. no one wants to explain it to you, no matter how many times I fucking asked uh, Michael. Yeah. Uh. Like, when in all reality, all you really need is just seven and nines. Yeah. Uh. Maybe fives. Yeah, if you're feeling small. Yeah. I'm getting my the whole part right here done. You don't Tuesday. need it, though, because, like, a a five-round shader is the same size as, like, a nine-round liner. Yeah. So like, why even use fives? Yeah. And, I mean, unless you're going, like, real small. I, I don't unless do, you have, like, super small lines. I don't do super small lines, so I'm not using fives. I think we did a couple fives on here with, like, super small. I can't tell, though. I can't wait to get my fucking whole fucking... I don't have to, like, switch my machine to fuck ten times to do that. I'm actually gonna kind of feel like I have a sleeve, though, this week a little bit. Yeah, what are you getting the inside of your forearm done? Yeah. Are you getting that cracking thing? Well, sort of. I'm getting a tiger, though. You should get an octopus with tiger uh, stripes. I already... I think he already drew it up, so... Dude, but think about how fire that'd be. Nah, fuck it. An octopus with tiger stripes. Nah. An octopus with tiger. Whatever. Shirt. I know you're just doing the tiger because you want to make that whole arm orange. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you kind of got me on that one. <laughs> What's your problem about it, huh? Nothing. I don't hate I'm making this whole arm red, dude. All right. <laughs> Minor colors in there, but mostly red. Yeah. I want to get my hand tattooed soon. I just don't know what to do. I think I'm going to get one of those, like, traditional cartoon devils. That'd be cool. Or like just a big rose. I don't do it. Because I don't rose. want it to be facing inwards. Because this. If you have a big rose, I feel like. I don't know. It's just like so easy. Because I, I also want to go to Phantom Hand to do it. Because I'm done going to Michael for a while. Because I want to go to shops to get apprenticed at. And uh, I'm never going to get an apprenticeship at Altered uh, Images. Michael's listening to this right now, crying. He knows. <laughs> Unless, Michael, if you're listening, which I know you're probably yeah. not. Uh. Yeah, unless you can get me a spot at the shop, <laughs> <laughs> which you t- I totally could have, like, because I started asking him this, like, a year ago, and he's like, Rob's closing the shop in, like, a year, yeah. and I would have been, like, I would have been, like, licensed by now. Yeah, you should. Nah. Yeah. Whatever. Ray doesn't have an apprentice anymore. Really? Yeah. How far away is it? Like, 40 minutes. I can't do that. Yeah. No way to fucking move shops. <laughs> he did. I'm gonna go back to Brockton. Then I can do that. <laughs> nah, fuck the new the shop looks like shit compared to his new one. Oh no, we're, that, that's the shot that we were flaming that tattoo on earlier. That's terrible. Dude, his new shop, his rooms like literally look like like this. 
Hmm. Really? Yeah, it's like same floor, except it's like a little blue paint instead of gray. Hmm. But it's like literally looks like our podcast room. Remember at Pins and Needles, it was so annoying being there because he'd be blasting death metal and the other half would be blasting like rap. Yeah, and they're all right next to each other yeah. at their station. So yeah, at his, it's like their room. Everybody has a different room. I like so. those shops, but at the same time, I don't. Yeah, I, I kind of if you like everybody in the shop, then like like with altered images, like yeah. it's chill to get tattooed there because it's just everybody's there. Yeah, unless there's like fucking when Christian was there and like his customers would either be white chicks or like white skinned black dudes that brought like fourteen people with them. Yeah, <laughs> and they'd all just be crowding around like. <laughs> like trying to vibe to what'd like get, misfits hey, yo, but they was they just couldn't do it and it was just terrible they'd be like just super hyped on the butterfly tattoos that people were getting yes sir single line butterfly tattoos yes, and sir. crowns and as i'm like getting my fucking chest blasted yeah <laughs> see that's why whenever i go there i try to go at like when Night, it's closed yeah nighttime <laughs> when it's closed on monday yeah especially because <laughs> like that's well, the, that's the good thing about well, having not even at a tattoo go, shop like, you can go when it's closed if the tattoo artist I'll is above my michael and likes to work on his off days well i'll go like he's not in abandoned buildings well he doesn't like tattoo me on his off days but he'll he tattoo me like nighttime super late which is like nice because i'll be getting like painful tattoos and being like a bitch and it's like it's kind of better when no one is there and you can be a little bitch yeah you know what i do I get painful tattoos and I fucking I'm fucking bossed off. Shut the fuck up, Kevin. Yeah, you probably dog. love a giant when you go get them. What are you talking about? You've been there. No, I'm not. I've only been there for like a couple of tattoos. I say for your hand, and you were like, Ugh, "It's hurting." Yeah, it was hurting. It was my hand. Yeah, my hand was fine. Dude. Okay. It's chilling there, my hand. But every ask Michael. Um, well, I sit the best. Good sitter. Sax Dude, I tattoo though. myself. Sax yeah, is pretty good, though. <laughs> that's my new could you tattoo yourself? Probably, if I tried. No, you couldn't. You could do it in a couple of sessions. I mean, I could probably... Keep on relaying the tattoo down, like, trying to fucking line it up with the nah, old I lines. I could probably needed. get it. It's mind over matter right there. Yeah. I think I could do it. I tattooed Jake. Yeah, you tattooed someone else. Uh, that involves no pain. Still. <laughs> <laughs> kind of did it was painful and it was so shaky yeah. <laughs> hey I'm professional artist dude alright watch out I'm coming for all you tattoo artists yeah. yeah totally just wait just wait yeah. that's what I keep saying pray for my downfall pray they keep praying on my downfall yes sir they do. <laughs> you know but I'm gonna come back a hundred a hundo yeah whatever happened to learning how to cut hair you were gonna do that <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah. I was thinking about it. I'm gonna become a tattoo artist. It's not I'm gonna cut hair and tattoo at the same it's time. It's way cheaper than tattooing. Be dexterous about it. I'll give someone a haircut while tattooing their head. Yes, sir. I feel like, like I could do that. I feel like honestly, I could cut hair super easily. Probably. Yeah. It's not that hard. You just I can dye hair clip, really well. Clip, clip guards. I dyed your hair up nice. Yeah. It's crazy how that lasted the same amount of time as the purple that you got from Eric Dunn. No, it lasted longer. Did it? Yeah. Yeah. Because the purple faded after like the first week, week and a half. Didn't it turn like yellow? Like oh, green. Yeah. This is just like a, sh- it's like a strawberry blonde though. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So, I need to so, get my hair cut soon and then I'm gonna... I leave. just don't know what my sister did with the fucking red. She kept doing it and I was like, fuck it, I don't want to have like red hair anymore. I mean like red dyed, like tripping out on shower. Yeah. So, Fair I'm just gonna die. To I'm dyeing my hair back to my natural color for a little bit after. Yeah. I'm just gonna fucking go get a haircut soon, bleach my hair, hair again, and then go same green. Uh, yeah, I look fire with green hair. Yeah. And it's on the fucking podcast cover, and I'm not trying to re edit that. Yeah, no, <laughs> I'm going back to my natural. I guess I'll, I'll edit the podcast cover for you, but. Uh, <laughs> we just have like different versions of it from when we dye our hair, yeah. and Jimmy's just always the same in it. <laughs> Eventually, Ooh, one yeah. of us will get like a face tattoo. Yeah, yeah Jimmy's just never changes. <laughs> Ours are always morphing. Yeah. We turn into alien dudes. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying. <laughs> Three alien dudes are the same thing. It just looks like like an alien monster with a single human head on it. <laughs> we just have fucking our noses cut off. Our noses are cut off. That's when we, we get the black implants. alien project in as a fucking. 
That's we when have we puzzle boards on now the face. That's when we become like Tom Segura and we do a Spanish podcast, but it's yeah. with the Black Alien Project. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, Jimmy, you just don't make the cut. You're not an alien. <laughs> Jimmy's an our American yeah, one. <laughs> Dude, you could be the the producer. Podcast moves the word. on. <laughs> podcast moves Jimmy, on. you got to cut Jimmy off does, your nose and ears. And Jimmy does the BBC by himself. We're like the Black Alien Project. Jimmy's like, wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna cut off my nose, guys. Yeah, I'm gonna I'll cut off. Yeah, my yeah, sure. You're just doing it because we did it, poser. You're not a real alien. Imagine you yeah, wait till we get our. Imagine you hire a plumber, and he <laughs> walks in your house. <laughs> no ears. <laughs> He's ears. got no nose. He's got horns coming out of my house. Okay, like, fuck yeah. Get out of my house. I'd be like, this guy probably knows what he's doing, dude. <laughs> yeah. He probably lives in the sewers, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he knows pipes. <laughs> This guy lives in a septic tank. I think I, he knows what he's doing. They're, he just seems like a normal quiet guy. He's like a normal guy, though. Was like the I know. Thing. It's like when you when we saw a picture of him with his friends, and they're just average dudes. Just chilling. Dude, I was it's watching... Like seeing, like, uh, after that, the Barber it's with It's like... I know. It's like after that interview he did with that fucking uh, homie fellows guy. He should do He, a, like, they went out to eat, and, like, they were just, like, eating healthy food, and they went to the beach and did, like, a <laughs> workout on the beach, and we're just, like, getting the fucking pumping. Yeah, for real, bro. Just like, average dudes. Yeah. Richie the Barber and him should do a podcast. Dude, they should. <laughs> but he would have to either learn English or Richie the Barber would have to either Wait, learn French. Wait, he doesn't speak English at all? I think he barely does. I think he barely does. this podcast? Closed captions. I was reading it. I couldn't smoke or anything. I had to watch the whole closed captions the whole time. It was oh, like wow. 40 Dude. minutes long. And then I kept getting... How obsessed with this guy are you? Dude, was, he was... to read subtitles? Well, I was like, I wanted to see what this guy's about. You know what I <laughs> yeah, mean? So. That's true. I and then I, I wish has spoken. And about, then I just kept watching that. Podcast. And then I kept just watching that homie fellas guys like, YouTube video. Imagine those <laughs> captions on. Imagine being able to watch Hasbulla get interviewed dude, by wait. Joe Rogan. Dude, I literally got fucking what's it called? They probably know each other. I literally on my YouTube. They're on a first name basis. Either Hasbulla's involved with the UFC. He's uh, fucking uh, friends with um, K- uh, what's his name? Fuck. Ooh, I don't know. Or, this is the homie fellas guy. Ah, fuck. <laughs> you want to see his intro, dude? Uh, you were watching. This is important. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is the homie brother. <laughs> <laughs> All right, homie fellas. <laughs> Where's this interview? He has, like, a, a super weird intro. Wait, let me find his intro. Wait, Post Malone speaks Spanish? <laughs> no, he's just going over him. Oh. Does he, where's his intro? I thought he interviewed Whoa. Him. Wait, why does he have part of his head not tattooed? This is before. Why is part of his head not tattooed? This was before. Maybe it's his last piece of humanity. Let's see. Homie fellas. Where's his intro, dude? He has like some like super death metal intro. Was it just him walking around naked? I think so, it yeah. It could have been. Where is the fuck? fucking alien! It's all Chupacabra! bro! That's a fucking alien! Where's the That's f- a fucking alien, Julian! <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> fuck! <fucking shit. laughs> the homie from the... I just saw a fucking alien walking around the fucking park. Bobs, calm down. It's just one of those fucking TEs or whatever. You know, dextrorastrials or... Extra you know, fucking, you know. Terrestrial extrials. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you got your brain key compartments and departments. <laughs> it's a terrestrial Yeah, extrial. this is his. Sometimes you gotta fuck. You know, smoke, this smoke is his mash, intro, bro. This sounds sick. Sometimes, guy, Watch know, this, dude. He's got dad. Justin Bieber blast metal on the drums. What? What? What is this? <laughs> this guy, this is a nice mech. beans. <laughs> Justin this is Bieber. a Mexican YouTube channel <laughs> uh, intro right there. What the That's fuck? fucking hype. And then he's just got this freak. What's up, dude? <laughs> Are all of his tattoos blackout? Who? The black the, alien project. Looks like it. Oh, black yeah. alien. Yeah, yeah, he blacked out his whole body. But some of it looks like it's not. One of his tattoos, his fir- you know his first you tattoo? Know you know what his first sick? tattoo? You know what his first tattoo was? What? A tattoo of a chick that he had a crush on on his hand. Wow. Her That's... face. Terrible. Yeah, it's terrible. I wonder why you ended up like this. That's unsmart. Yeah, that's not smart. Yeah. You know who actually has a six suit now? You know the blackout guy has the alien, like there's the the eyeball on his stomach and 
Yeah, he's the Remy. He's been adding to that. Yeah, yeah like, all the white eyeballs out. to like the side yeah. of it. I've been following him. It's he, crazy because he started off with all black and he's adding like white and red to it and like gold. You know what I've been thinking too? So he like. Which is crazy hard to get. He hasn't there. been getting tattooed for like as long as I thought. He's like. He posted, he's like, oh, my first tattoo, it's my son's name. And then, like, he posts pictures of his son, and his son looks like he's, like, 12 or, like, 13. So I'm like, he hasn't been getting tattooed that long. No, he probably only had a couple of tattoos and blacked his whole body out. No. He, he was fully covered? Dude, he's gone through four bodysuits. What? Yeah. Is he's, he a tattoo artist? I don't know what he does now. I think, he, he, I forget what he does. Because it's crazy to go through four bodysuits and you're not a tattoo artist. Yeah. Let me see. Unless you make crazy money. Mm. How do you go through four body suits? In that amount of time. He's got covered and covered and covered. Wow. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. I'll probably have a second body suit at some point. <laughs> That's crazy. He's black yeah. and I was like, dude, well, I mean, tattoos sick. fade, man. Yeah. Like when I'm around 30. I'll probably have a second body suit. I've already been thinking about. When I'm around 30, I'll probably start my I've already been thinking about suit. covering up my leg after I get my sleeve done. So. Let it, let it wait a little while, man. Uh, I'm a first body suit done before we start adding parts uh, to the second, dude. <laughs> yeah, this guy's fucking dead. Though. Wait, let me. I want to find the picture showing like his like all four body suits. Yeah, usually yeah see? the fourth is uh, all black. It's not four different suits. He's just had shit added on to it. Well, he changes them, the theme of them. No, there's always been that eyeball. Well, yeah, but he's always done different shit, like eyeball, and then he kept that. Well, yeah, because they fade with the white. Yeah. So it's super easy to change. But he's also changed the eyeball, too. Yeah, he had, like, teeth around it and shit. Like, no, at first, too, it had shit in it. Oh, yeah, it was more realistic. It had, uh... A lock in it, and then he blacked that out. Yeah. And then now he's adding like. He add, he just added like a bunch of eyeballs and like. Yeah, to his like whole a bunch of spider looking shit to it. With like that big cross thing in the middle that I don't know how he did. Yeah, like how did you that that must Great. have been like all white ink just done over that a million times. What this right here? No, that's he's added more since. No, that's been there. Let me see. The thing in the middle, I'm pretty sure, was covered at one point with black. Where the fuck is it? I just had it. All right, you want to end this thing? Yeah. See, no. Nah, See, he hasn't been covered. Oh, he's had that. Yeah. I thought I was super impressed. I was like, how the fuck do you make it that bright? All right, homie fellas. All right, homie oh, fellas. Boy, that was another fellas. episode of the Beautiful, beautiful Boycast. Stay gay, America.